and welcome back to EDH Deck Building. I am your host, Demo, and it's time for another Deck Tech. This is Minsk Beloved Ranger, and I had already done a Commander Quick Brew on this guy, and the more I talked about it and the more I thought about it, I thought it would make a really interesting build around. I loved the idea of sort of the proxy Voltron. So what does that mean? Well, Minsk is a human ranger, a red, a green, and a white, so a Naya Commander 3-3. When Minsk enters the battlefield, create Boo, a legendary 1-1 red hamster creature token with trample and haste. So he's coming into play and he's making this hamster token that has trample and haste. And then you can pay X and until end of turn, target creature you control has base power and toughness XX and becomes a giant in addition to his other types activate only as a sorcery so i thought it would be interesting to make a voltron sort of strategy where your commander is not actually the voltron the hamster is the voltron and this strategy maybe doesn't work as good the reason why people do voltron strategies with their commander is because they can hit for commander damage our hamster token is not going to be hitting for commander damage so it is going to be a little more difficult that way but also because we're choosing to voltron our hamster rather than our commander then we can also do this with other creatures creatures that fit in the deck so for example swift blade vindicator we don't have to do this pump effect of our commander on the hamster we can do it on other creatures swift blade vindicator is a fantastic recipient for this it's just a one one but has double strike vigilance and trample so we can make this a five five or a six six it's going to be really really impressive prophetic flame speaker is another one that has both double strike and trample that's a really fantastic combination with a one power that doesn't really mean anything but if you can pump this up it's going to be really dangerous double Double Strike and Trample are a fantastic combination because you're going to trample over the first strike damage that anything goes over, and then you're going to do the regular damage trampled over as well. So both of those creatures are going to be fantastic in this deck with both our commander's abilities and what else we're doing. Bushi Tenderfoot I thought was a really interesting one. One white human soldier, 1-1. One, one. Whenever a creature dealt damage by Bushi Tenderfoot dies this turn, Flip Bushi Tenderfoot. That's a really hard thing to pull off. This is a creature I've been wanting to put in a deck for a long time. I think I finally found a perfect fit for it. The fact that we can pump up its power and toughness now makes it a lot easier for us to trigger that ability and flip it. And when we flip it, now it becomes Kenzo the hard-hearted 3-4 double strike Bushido too. That's pretty impressive. And pumping that up is even going to be more impressive. So I think that's a great fit in the deck. I also have Tana the Blood Sower and Spike shot elder i just thought two creatures whose power you want to be increasing i think our commander's ability works really well with any creature that has a low power to begin with but when you increase it becomes a lot more impressive tana already has trample and is just going to create more and more of those one one sapling tokens and spike shot elder this one though it can get really mana intensive with our commander's ability works a lot better with other things we're doing in the deck like equipment which is also increasing our creature's power so for example a sun forger if we throw a sun forger on our spike shot elder now it has a power of five and now we can pay one red red and spike shot elder deals damage equal to its power to any target which is going to be five so now we're spending three mana to deal five damage to any target that's pretty darn good some more equipment that is perfectly suited to this deck hero's blade which i already mentioned in my commander quick brew video equip creature gets plus three plus two but whenever a legendary creature enters the battlefield under your control you may attach hero's blade to it so this is specifically in there for that hamster token which is a legendary creature so when it comes into play it's got trample and haste the hero's blade attaches to it immediately and makes it into a 4-3 trample haste creature right out of the gate and pendlehaven is a land that i just mentioned in my lands you should be putting in your green commander decks video that i thought was an interesting fit in the deck Taps for green mana, but you can tap it and target one one creature gets plus one plus two until end of turn. So we can turn our hamster into a two three. And obviously we'll have to do this before we put anything else on it. Even the hero's blade, we can respond to that ability. So our hamster enters the battlefield, the hero's blade triggers. We can give it plus one plus two from the Pendle Haven, then attach the hero's blade to it. Now it's going to be a five five trample and haste. Pretty formidable. Obviously, we got lots of other equipment in the deck. I got our Gentum armor. 
armor, Colossus hammer, having a 7-7 or an 11-11 hamster with trample and haste is going to close out the game pretty quickly. I threw forging the Tyrite sword in here, one a red and a white saga enchantment. The first two are just create a treasure token. I mean, that's always good. And then the third one is search your library for a card named Helvar, God of Battle, or an equipment card, reveal it and put it in your hand. So we have both. Obviously, we have lots of equipment. We also have Halvar in the deck for a number of reasons. First of all, creatures you control that are enchanted or equipped have double strike. Again, double strike is just a fantastic fit with trample and our hamster token has trample already. So now it's going to get double strike as soon as we equip it. And at the beginning of each combat, you may attach an aura or an equipment attached to a creature you control. So we can now cheat that Argentum Armor equip. We can cheat the Colossus Hammer equip. Those are really expensive. So obviously we want to get around that. We also have Brunor Battle Hammer from the new set and our Den, who also are going to be really helpful in cheating all those equip costs. I really went the equipment route here rather than auras. I don't have any auras in the deck. Just a bunch of equipment. A bunch of equipment that we can cheat onto our creatures. Creatures that want to be buffed up creatures that we can buff up with either equipment or our commander's ability or both just turn that swift blade vindicator into say a 5-5 five five with our commander and then at the beginning of combat we'll use our our den to slide that colossus hammer right onto it and now it is a 15 15 double strike vigilance trample creature isn't going to take much for us to close out the game with stuff like that going on i also threw blade historian in here four hybrid red and white mana human cleric two three attacking creatures you control have double strike i really went with the double strike theme as much as i could because it essentially doubles up our commander's ability if we turn a creature's power and toughness into a four four now we're going to double that damage because it's going to have double strike and again also works really good with trample also through duelist heritage in here that's really just a fantastic card three and a white enchantment whenever one or more creatures attack you may have target attacking creature gain double strike until end of turn so of course as everyone knows this can get used against your opponents in a lot of different ways because you can target an opponent's creature with this that is attacking another opponent if you choose to can be used in a very political way that way but obviously when we attack with our hamster or any of our other creatures that don't already have double strike we're going to want to give them double strike and then again as i mentioned in the commander quick brew video the creature that we are buffing with our commander's ability is going to become a giant temporarily so let's also take advantage of that calamity bearer is just an absolute auto include in a minsk deck i think two red red giant berserker three four if a giant source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage to that permanent or player instead. So any of our creatures that we turn into a giant are going to be dealing double damage. But this is on top of the double strike that we might be giving it as well. So there could be some situations here where we have our Calamity Bearer in play and maybe we have our Duelist Heritage in play and we can just one-shot an opponent by dealing first strike damage doubled, regular damage also doubled, we can do some serious damage here. I also like Crush Underfoot, one and a red, Tribal Instant. Choose a giant creature. You control it, deals damage equal to its power to target creature. It's going to be a great removal spell in the deck. But my favorite one is Realmed Cloaked Giant, or more specifically, the adventure part of this card, Cast Off. Three white, white sorcery adventure, destroy all non-giant creatures. So this can be a one-sided board wipe because we can use Minsk's ability to turn all of our creatures into giants. Basically one mana, they all become one ones, but so what? Pay one mana, turn all our creatures into giants. Minsk included, he can obviously use that ability on himself. And then we can cast our cast off and it'll destroy all all the non-giant creatures in play and all our creatures will survive. And then of course, because our commander has that ETB ability, we can throw Conjurer's Closet in there. We can also throw the new one from the set, Teleportation Circle. Now, if for any reason we lose that hamster token, we can blink our commander. It'll come in back into play and make us another token that we can then equip with a bunch of stuff. You can put more uh, blink effects in here. I also threw Ephemerate in. We, we saw, sort of just want to guarantee that we always have that hamster token. And this is just a really easy way to do it and that is my minsk beloved ranger deck really fun interesting deck you know i don't have a naya deck haven't had one for a long time might consider keeping this one it's very interesting i really like the proxy voltron idea of our commander is not the voltron he's turning other creatures in our deck into the voltron which is, is sort of different than what you normally see so that is it for today and thanks for tuning in